Hey everybody, I want to do a complete Springfield XD teardown, um, disassembly and reassembly. We'll start off with the uh, with the slide and then we'll move on to the frame. A uh, few things I'm not going to do is, I mean this is something I, I would do, it's just, it's a pain. Um, the At the uh, loaded chamber indicator on my particular gun I have broken three punches and bent a fourth trying to get this pin out of here and this thing just will not come out I have banged the bejesus out of this thing it just won't come out so here's what we're going to do we're not going to touch that okay um, Another thing on this gun that just will not come out is the extractor, so I won't show you how to take that out. I'll, I'll mention it, you know, how, how it's supposed to come out, but uh, I won't take it out because, again, um, mine just doesn't want to come out. I don't want to torch it and get it hot to get it out because it's going to ruin the finish. So, um, so right now it's I'm um, I'm fine with them being in there. Uh, they're not gritty. They're not. Um, they're they're clean. I, I get in there with a the high pressure cleaner, like uh, you know some kind of powder blast, and uh, clean it out. It's not a big deal. Okay, so I will put a fresh battery in the camera, and we will get started with the complete disassembly and reassembly of the Springfield XD. All right. So first things first. Um, excuse the noise in the background. Uh, I don't know how the camera's picking it up, but uh, if it's annoying you guys, it's my AC unit, and uh, it's 110 degrees here in the Rocky Mountains today. So I was sweating bullets. I decided to turn the unit on. So, um, so I apologize for the noise in advance um, if it kicks in and out. Um, second is I'll show you what you will need to do this job um, the way I do it uh, you will need a pair of needle nose pliers a roll of tape a gunsmithing hammer and a set of punches you're also going to need a set of punches so I'll tell you what size they are when we get there um, now let me put this aside. Another thing you would need that's fairly handy is, uh, is a schematic for the gun that you're tearing down. I'll put a link of this down in the descriptions and uh, you guys can look at it, print it, do whatever you want to do with it. It's nice to have. Alright, I'll put that aside. So let's get started. The first thing you do is safety check make sure you don't shoot yourself in the face all right so this is our slide this is what we're going to be working with again the uh, the indicator I'm not going to take off uh, it's nothing to it apparently um, there is a pin right here you punch that out there's a spring back here that's giving it that tension and all you need to do is punch that pin out and that whole thing comes out that's all you gotta do um, I've like I said I've broken three punches and then bent a fourth uh, actually here's the fourth one I don't know if you guys can see it or not but yeah it's all bent out of shape because and that thing just will not budge I've squirted some uh, WD-40 in there let it sit nothing so that I'm not gonna take off Another thing I'm not taking off is the extractor because it just, on mine, it just won't come out. Uh, you Technically, you're supposed to put a hook underneath and pry it out or on a, on a wooden surface, on a soft surface, you bang it on the surface and it's supposed to pop out. Again, I've done it to the point where my surface was marred up pretty badly and it's just not coming out. So, um, that's a negative to the uh, Springfield XD series 
um, in my opinion that's that's something that uh, that worries me because if I get dirt and stuff in there I can't really go in and do a thorough cleaning um, my Glocks don't do that so all right let's get started so first thing you want to do is grab your roll of tape and there's one pin which is your striker pin right here we're gonna drive that out from the bottom up the hole on top is larger than the hole in the bottom so we're gonna punch it from the bottom out I will set that on my roll of tape make sure I don't set it on my sights and I will grab a 330 seconds punch uh, focus camera 330 seconds punch. Just gonna place that in there and I'm gonna tap it out. Sorry for shaking you guys around. Alright. That's out. Good. Alright, next thing we'll do is we're gonna put that pin aside. Again, remember which way that pin came out. It goes in that same way because the pin is tapered okay so next thing we need to do is take this butt, butt plate off and for that I'm gonna use a 3 16 punch a 3 16 punch and I'm gonna put that in my striker indicator guide too and I'll push that down I'll push it down and I will move the locking plate down just like that. Very similar to a Glock if you've had experience with a Glock. And I will just simply push that off with my thumb but make sure you have that covered because everything's under pressure down there and it's going to pop out. So I will remove it. Oh, did you hear that? So I'm going to put that aside. Just kind of hold on to everything. Make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Again, note how everything's coming out. So there's our guide. I'm going to put that aside. There is our spring. That is, that doesn't matter which way it goes in. I'll put that aside. And then we're going to grab our striker indicator. And sure you guys see that not a striker indicator we're gonna put that aside and then we will grab our firing pin which is that guy there put that aside next we want to take out let me get this light up here Next, we want to take out our plunger. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I had to cut the video out. The thing wasn't cooperating. I don't know why, but normal circumstances, you have that little notch right in here. You would put a punch or a screwdriver underneath it, and you would press the uh, uh, the striker safety down and it should come out it should just come out it's it's not under spring tension or anything but mine just for some reason it's not coming out it's hanging up on something so um, I'm going to have to resort to a little bit of brute force with this guy so uh, next thing we gotta do we gotta take that firing uh, the striker or firing pin spring out so I'm gonna put that aside and uh, I'm just gonna grab it with a pair of needle nose pliers and I'm gonna pull it out let's see I gotta be able to see it there we go just gonna pull that out looks like it's got a little bit of mooring right here feels fairly smooth it's a little bit of jagged metal right there I feel it um 
Well, while I have the gun down, I'm going to polish this and uh, we'll go from there. Now keep your finger on your striker safety and we're going to just let it out gently and slowly and pull it out. Um, I put a little bit of grease in mine to keep that spring there, but it is, that's about all there is to it. Okay, I'm going to put those aside, make sure you don't lose that spring. Alright, that would do it for the for the slide. So, the slide is pretty much done. Now again, you know, that's not coming out. Well, actually, since I have it down, let's, let's try, see, maybe this time is the, the magic time for it to come out yeah no it's not coming out okay so yeah my uh, my extractor is not coming out if, if any of you guys know a cool little trick to get that out let me know because I have pretty much done everything I can to get that damn thing out and it's just not happening so alright but I mean it's it's open enough where I can get in there and clean it out it's it's not a big deal same with that indicator not a big deal um, worst comes to worst I order a uh, new pin from Springfield and I'll drill that out and put the new pin in there so that's that and then your sights you can punch them out put it in the vise and punch them out but again no need to do that for for your you know deep cleaning all right, I will put that aside, and I'll get my frame. All right, here's our frame. Then we'll work on the frame. Okay, so next thing we need to do is we need to take our gas block out. To do that, we have two pins, and we have a takedown lever. The way you would start is you start by taking out the takedown lever. And the way you do that is we're going to go counterclockwise. As I'm going counterclockwise, I'm pulling out. I'm pulling out on this thing. So we'll start off and I'll pull out. As soon as I get to here, it pops out. And I just keep going. I'll just keep going. I just keep going. Oh, sorry for tapping the camera there and that will come out. We'll put that aside. Alright, once that's out, then we need to drive out these two pins. So we'll get our trusty roll tape. Let me roll of tape. Let me see here. Can you guys see okay? adjusted okay so now we're gonna grab our uh, da, 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 530 seconds punch 530 seconds punch we're gonna go from left to right I'm gonna punch these out okay they're out they haven't come completely out because these pins or these punches aren't long enough but that's that's good enough once your pin is out you can go ahead and take out your let's see if the gas block comes out yes it does now the gas block has a, the gas block not gas block sorry um, I mean AK mode um, the, the, the locking block has a spring in it so make sure to put your finger on top of that spring as you pull out make sure you retain that spring it doesn't go flying everywhere so there is our gas block and spring we'll put it aside next we will take out our slide release we'll put that aside now all that's left is our trigger assembly and the trigger assembly comes out fairly easily uh, you basically press the safety 
and push the trigger up you're just gonna grab it and when you grab it again you know before you do any of this stuff you want to make sure to look at where everything is going all right and then you just tilt it up and it'll come out just like that now again look at how the spring is and how the trigger bar is now the trigger bar comes out the way I would do it I'm gonna lift it up out of that spring loop which gives it tension lift it up and I'm gonna pull it out like that put that aside then grab my spring again remember which way it goes in put that aside then there's my trigger I'll put that aside so next we're gonna work on the sear and the sear assembly and the, and the grip safety um, I'm not gonna take the uh, the slide release out because it's very hard to show you how to put it back in it's it's damn near impossible but there's again there's nothing to it you have that little spring in there um, you punch this pin out and the whole thing falls out it's just when you put it back in getting that spring in there it's a pain if you can avoid doing without you can now if you look at your schematic your your um, your mag release has your mag release has two cutouts on it like that two slopes what you can do is if you really have to take that out is you can actually press on the uh, on the mag catch right there where it actually loosens up your uh, this is of the mag release and you can actually push that button out because of the ramps it will actually go underneath the catch and it will come out I've done that a couple of times it hasn't seemed to, uh, to damage anything uh, putting it back in or taking it back out so not a uh, not an issue so if you really have to take that out that's the way you can do it um, not taking it out I'm not taking it out because getting that spring in there I need to have like both hands in there and holding four things at once and um, you guys just won't be able to see it and just it'd be a waste of time so um, it's pretty wide open also so you can get in there and clean it out not a big deal all right now what we need to do is first let's take a look inside here and see what we have so we have our sear, we have our ejector, and then we have our striker safety lever. We also have two pins, one here and one here. Uh, this is our, uh, our ejector slash spring hold pin. And then there's our sear and spring pin right there. So we need to punch these two out. All right, sorry about that guys. That was the, the front door. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to punch out these two pins. Now, we'll start with the front pin. Now, again, the front pin, if you've noticed, you can't punch it out. So what you have to do, we're not really punching, we're moving or pushing. So uh, what you'll do is you'll grab your needle nose pliers and we're just gonna move it out. I'm just gonna grab it and I'm gonna push it out. Now once I get a little gap right there, then I can go in with a punch, something a little bit smaller, because I don't really want to mess up the pin. And we'll just assist it, move it out of the way a little bit more. There we go. You don't want to go all the way out. We don't want to take that completely out. We'll just go far enough for that spring tension to be released, and also um, so we can take out our, uh, our our ejector. So I'm just gonna course it. Let's see. Find something to uh, to move that thing out with. Yep, I guess we need to just be very careful when you're doing this. Just move that over. There we go. The spring will release. 
once the spring releases all the pressures off so we can go ahead and punch out our other pin and we use a let's see that might be too small there we go we use a three thirty seconds punch and I'm just gonna tap it out Everything is retained by that punch. If I remove it, everything's gonna go. So I'm gonna put one hand in front, one hand on the back, just to make sure things don't go places I can't find them. All right. Grab the spring. Now, if I remember correctly, the spring uh, goes in the same way. Um, goes in. It can go in either this way or this way. Doesn't matter. But you know, just remember how it came out. All right. Next is our sear. Maybe. I'm just moving it down. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm just moving it down, being gentle and easy with it. All right. So this is how this is how it goes in. All right, and that's how it goes in. So remember that. Now this is my carry gun. So there's a lot of dust and stuff on here underneath your clothes all that goop and gunk and fabric gets on it so I'm going to put these aside next is our grip safety we can take the ejector out I think without having to take the grip safety off there you go that'll come out again you know, remember how it goes in. Next, we'll punch out this pin, which will let us remove our grip safety. Again, you know, remember how that, take a look at how that spring is, is held in there. All right. I will use a 3.30 seconds punch. I'm going to remove that and it should pop out. There we go. That spring, make sure you don't lose it. Take a look at how it's going in. See what I mean? Okay, put that aside. Okay, um, that's that's about it. That's all you need to do. Again, that spring is going to be such a pain to put in. I'm not taking it out. It's uh, I've done it a few times, so I, I, I I'm a lot more comfortable putting it back in. It's just I can't show you. I can't figure out a way. To show you how it goes in this way I figured it out is if you grab uh, if you grab it on both sides with needle nose pliers and you basically force it in there and then you got to drive the pin in so I don't want to say bad design but pain in the ass all right so that's that it's all out it is completely field stripped minus three things all right guys well uh, I'm gonna get this stuff cleaned up oh hold on before before I go uh, I forgot to show you the the pin that the sear pin see it has a notch it's longer on one side shorter on the other side 
remember that this is where the uh, this is where the spring will sit and then there is the uh, the, the grip safety uh, having a brain fart uh, the, the grip safety pin all right guys be right back all right guys it's time to put it back together and we'll start with the frame but first I made a little boo-boo in that last segment um, I mixed the two pins up the one with the um, the one with the notch in it it's actually for the grip safety and the one for the one that's smooth is for the sear, sear spring so um, that was my bad uh, this is where it pays off to have in the schematic our number eight which is a notched pin and the longer pin goes to the left and the longer side of the notch goes to the left and uh, that's our number eight which is grip safety pin and then there is our number 20 which is magazine catch pin well wait that's not 20 that's uh oh yeah that is 20 uh blah, 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 blah. Which, am I, which one am I looking at? Am I looking at number number 30 is what I'm looking at, sorry. Uh, number 30, sear pin. There we go. Okay, so. Um, I make mistakes so you don't have to, right? There we go. Okay, let's get started with uh, putting this guy back together. So it'll go back the same way that it came out. So uh, we'll start off by putting the grip safety in let's have our pin handy and we'll figure out what to do with the, the spring which goes right there just gonna make sure it's nice and aligned in there so we don't have to do too much work to put it in and then from the bottom I'm just gonna drop it in I'm just gonna go in from the bottom so I'm just gonna can you guys see I'm just gonna go in and push up so all I'm doing is just going from the bottom and pushing up and I will grab my punch I'm gonna align the holes the um, the spring in there there we go give it a test that's working come on camera okay that's working so we're just gonna grab our pin again remember the uh, the longer part goes towards the left and I'm just gonna replace my punch with that pin Be very careful. That spring likes to jump out and leave. So I'm just going to grab a plastic mallet. Just enough to get that started in there. It's giving me a little bit of resistance, so I'm just going to use my punch to move things around. There we go. Now it's better. And we will drive it home. And finish it up with our 330 seconds punch. some reason I'm getting a lot of resistance from this thing it's not as smooth as it should be okay guys sorry about that that was uh, that was a learning experience uh, the schematic clearly shows the uh, the longer side of the notch is supposed to go to the left of the gun and that's the way we had it um, but it was it was very uh, 
stiff and it had a lot of resistance on it but uh, what I did was take the pin out and just reverse it um, so where the where the short part is um, uh, is towards the left and uh, it, it worked um, just fine it, it made a clicking noise where the spring falls into that notch and now it's nice and smooth it doesn't have resistance by extra resistance when I when I push it down so um, that guy is in just to give you a look and how everything went in that's how we will go in okay okay so I think this is the best way to show you guys how this is done because the, the gun is it's black on the inside and um, it's pretty difficult to see uh, I can't really make out on the on the viewfinder or on the on the screen on the camera <clears throat> if you guys can see it or not I just have to double check so it looks like at this angle you can see what I'm doing so what we need to do we need to keep this um, grip safety compressed because it gets in our way and it just it's annoying so what we'll do what I'm doing is I'm just gonna put it inside this roll of tape and I'm just gonna move it back to where the tape is actually holding it all the way compressed in and I'm just kinda holding on to it with the other hand like that now next thing we gotta do is we gotta go in Make sure you can see this. I'm going to grab our sear. Now, one of them has a little bump on one side. So this is the direction we want to go in. Because remember, that's where the trigger bar goes. The way I'm going to go in is I'm going to go in here underneath, put it in, and move it up. Just like that. I'm just going to get the, the holes fairly... Um, lined up. I mean, by by my eye, it looks like it's it's lined up. So, next thing I need to do is I need to get my striker safety lever, and we're gonna put that in. Now, if you notice, I'm holding the gun a little bit slanted to to the left. And that's because to keep the sear all the way over to the left side. That leaves a little bit of gap in here, so I can put my uh, lever in. Now, if you notice. The lever has two bumps on it. I'm too close. It has two bumps on it, and it's going to get caught if you try to go straight up. So what we have to do is we have to go in like this and tilt it up. So I'm just going to go in right there. Whoops! Fell out of my hand. So I'm just going to go in at an angle like that. Do it again like that, and I'm just gonna bring it up. All right, now it's in place. Next thing we need to do, we need to again keeping that um, the the frame safety, the grip safety compressed. I'm just gonna find the hole, and I'm gonna start by aligning the lever, and I'm in there. Next thing I need to do is go through the uh, the sear and then the the ejector and then for out from the other side. So do you guys you guys see that what I'm doing? Okay. Now we're gonna give it a little test. Make sure make sure that if you pull this up, the sear goes down, and it does. So that's great. Now we're gonna grab our sear pin is this guy and we're gonna put it in from this side pushing the uh, the punch out now. that's as far as it's gonna go on this side there we go and now we're in now what I'm gonna do is <clears throat> I'm not gonna let it go <coughs> sorry about that I'm not gonna let it go all the way through I'm just gonna rest it right there at the edge do you, do you guys see that I'm just gonna rest it right there on the 
on the edge. I'm going to move my punch back to just on the edge, just leaving enough room for us to put that spring in. So we're going to grab our spring. Here's our spring. We're going to put the spring in. Looks like our punches are not out far enough. Just going to move it out a little bit more. Put the spring in. And I will push the pin through. Like that. So just gonna go in by hand and make sure make sure this pin right there is nice and flush. Because if it's not your slide's gonna catch on it, so just gonna go in a little bit more because we have some room on this side. A little bit more. All right. So next, I'm gonna push in my spring retainer pin, and I'm just gonna push it in just a little bit, just a tiny amount. Now with that in, I'm gonna grab my needle nose pliers and I'm going to maneuver the spring underneath the pin and push the pin in with my hand. I'm going to grab it. It's too far down. Let's grab it a little bit further up. There we go. I'm just going to grab it, push it in. like that. I push the pin in with my finger a little bit so it retains that. Once it's in, then we can tap it into home very gently with a small 1 16th punch. Sorry about that guys. Actually, tell you what, let me let me reset and uh, bring the camera up a little higher so you guys, uh, so you guys can see what I'm doing. Be right back. Okay, so now we can see a little bit better. Okay, so that spring is is retained, which is a which is a good thing. And uh, now all we need to do is finish driving that pin home, and that's where we left off. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna grab a one sixteenth punch and carefully. We're going to punch that home. Make sure it's not protruding from, from the frame because that way the slide will wear it down. And you don't want to go too far. If you go too far, it's going to catch. You see that little, see that little gap right there? If you go too far, it's going to catch on the, um, the lever, the, the striker safety lever. And it's going to give you, uh, you know, not so smooth operations. So uh, I'm just going to go in a little bit further, and we'll stop when it gets to the. There we go. That's good. All right. That is good. Now, if you've noticed, I haven't put any oil on any of the parts as I'm putting them back in. Uh, main reason is because uh, this is my carry gun or one of my carry guns and I don't like putting oil on the sear and all that stuff if you've noticed um, when you I don't know if you can see this I think I cleaned most of it out but if you look inside that barrel you see all that lint and stuff that's just from my clothes from all the cotton stuff that you know you wear it gets on the gun. If you have a lot of oil on there, that stuff can cake up over time and um, it might cause problems. I've shot this gun without any lube inside it. Um, I mean, the, the, the rails are lubed and the barrel has a very light amount of lube on it, on top, not inside. And uh, this gun runs perfectly fine. 
if your carry gun has to be wet for it to function I would probably get another gun this I put grease on the rails and a little bit of light oil penetrating oil so it stays there um, outside the barrel just you know just in case and this run this gun runs dry perfectly every time so I'm confident enough that's why I'm not putting any oil in there okay so now our sear is in next thing we need to put in is going to be our trigger and uh, trigger assembly but first what I'd like to do is actually now let's, let me show you how the trigger will go in so this this little hook it's going to go underneath that little bump on the uh, on the safety or on the sear sorry and it's going to pull that sear forward which moves it down so we need to get this under there it really isn't anywhere else it can go so as long as you kind of like keep it close to the frame go in and tilt it down it's going to catch it's very hard to screw that up so don't worry too much about it um, what we need to do is to assemble the trigger and everything so we will put our trigger and spring in uh, where is it can't find a hole okay so that's how we're gonna go that's how it's gonna go now it's all nice and springy again you know check the operations this feels fairly smooth and it's good so I'm just gonna hold on to it like that we're gonna go in as it like a hook and I'm compressing when I when I put this end in I'm just pressing my trigger pushing it back so it fits in that in the hole so we'll just put that in I'm just pressing that in to get it in there and we are in so next we're gonna put our slide release in just make sure everything's lined up okay sorry about that I uh, <laughs> I knocked the camera with the hammer and uh, just ruined the whole thing so let's start over um, and I went ahead and took the pins out anyways I know I told you I wasn't gonna but I'll sacrifice my my finish for you guys um, so what we'll do next is we're gonna put our lock and block in with the spring in uh, in place I'm just gonna go ahead and lower it in in place just be patient with it and we'll get that in there make sure it's nice and centered and there we go we're just going to drive the front pin in first and my front pin is this one I'm gonna drive that in just, just so it keeps everything in place. Finish it up. Alright, let's make sure I don't have the camera or the lamp again. Okay, front pins in. They'll hold things sort of in, in, in their place and uh, next thing we need to do is get our, our our trigger pin in now it's you're supposed to do it from right to left when you're going back in but I find it easier if I go from left to right on this particular gun now you can do it you know however way you're comfortable doing it um, you're not gonna mess anything up so I'm just gonna go in this way I have to play with my takedown leave I mean not my takedown my slide release to work that in there yeah, I'm not 
to take it out because it's not going in. So you just have to play with them until you get them. Get them to go right in there. Now I'm going to use a punch to get the uh, this light release aligned. There we go. Now, next thing we got to do is get that trigger aligned in there. I'm going to use a, another pin, um, another punch just to hold it in the general area. And I'm just going to try and push that in. I push that in by hand. And then I'll finish it up with. I'll put that on the on the table because pretty sure I will hit the lamp with the hammer like I did before and <laughs> I hit the camera and the lamp broke the lamp and the camera so well I didn't break the camera but I knocked it out off its tripod okay that's in so both these are in we we'll just give it a quick preliminary check when you pull the trigger the sear is supposed to go down just a little bit let go of the grip safety it shouldn't go anywhere um, make sure everything's in place nothing's loose give the uh, give it a good tug test and everything looks to be in perfect working order so all our pins are in grip safety is working all right, we'll move on to uh, to assembly of our uh, our slide. Actually, no, we got one more part. What am I talking about? We have one more part, which is the takedown lever. Okay, sorry. I thought I could milk the battery out for another five minutes, but it, it turned off. Okay, so we're going to hold the takedown lever just straight up vertically. We're going to put it in. It's going to go in like that. And then we're going to go counterclockwise. We came out counterclockwise. We're going to go in counterclockwise. Um, I'm just going to turn it. As I'm turning, I'm pushing in. All right. I'm just going to turn it. You hear one click. And we'll keep going. Keep turning. When it gets to the top, like that, we will push it in. And it will click into place. And now it's, it's ready to go. All right, so that's done. We will test it later, but we'll go ahead and let's go ahead and uh, get the uh, get the slide assembled. Okay, so let's put our slide back together. Now I, I didn't polish this. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna do it right now, but uh, we'll just go ahead and put it back together this way uh, okay so first things first we're gonna put our striker safety in now for that I will put a dab of grease inside the hole and I can do it on the candor camera so you guys can see just just very small amount of grease that will hold the spring in place and it will make our life a lot easier. Okay, just make sure you don't put too much because it is going to be sitting next to the firing pin and you don't want grease and grime and stuff down there. So, just like that with the spring facing the front. Cat hair. Um, just like so. We're going to go in. Now if you notice, there's a little dimple inside that hole. Hopefully you guys can see. We're going to go in there. Just going to drop it in. And give it a test. Push it all the way in. If the uh, if the spring's not inside that dimple, the, uh, the striker safety won't go all the way down. It'll go to about right here and stop. It won't go all the way down. So... Now keep it down, and then we're going to grab our pin. Make sure, and this is very important, make sure this little dimple part is on the outside, not inside. If you get it in the other way, 
you're gonna have a hell of a hard time getting that thing out so we're just gonna put, go ahead and put that retainer pin in and that will hold it I'm just gonna push it all the way in you see it's sticking out a little bit I'm just gonna push it in all the way and make sure it's good to go all right that's in next thing we need to do is we need to get our striker spring kind of put that inside the big hole again that's doesn't matter which way it goes once that goes in we'll grab our striker put the striker in and and it's in we got good travel that's good to go all right now at this point we can put the roll pin back in you don't have to but I like doing it because I don't have to worry about the how the striker falling out so we'll go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and put the pin in uh, and yeah as long as you make sure it's resting on the spring you're clear you can go ahead and pop your roll pin in roll pin is tapered it's thinner on one end thicker on the other end we're gonna go in from the top down and I'm just gonna tap it into place and I will finish it off with my 330 seconds punch oh boy I will knock the lamp That's flush. We'll just give it a little. You technically need a roll pin punch for this, but I don't have any. We'll just use a normal punch. You just got to be very careful. Just punch that so it's not just a little bit lower than the top. Now, now this is retained. Good. Well, let's try that again because. I knocked the camera off the table again. <laughs> it, it's it's hard to work with the camera on the table, especially something that doesn't cooperate. All right, so we're going to put our indicator in, and we will put our spring, our indicator spring in now at this point I'd like to stand it up straight that way everything kind of stands up nice and aligned and then you got to get this guy in there next what I like to do is grab a pair of pliers now what I'll do with the pliers is I'm just gonna work that pin in Actually, here, let me show you something. So what's actually happening is the, uh, the striker is trying to go inside. The indicator is trying to go inside that little hole like that. So with spring pressure, it's kind of hard, and it just wiggles about, and it won't go in there. So you just got to be patient with it and uh, make sure that it actually goes in all the way. All right. So that's, that's what I'm trying to do. Put that in, put this in. I find it easier if I push the striker up so the indicator is popping out so I can actually see where it's going. Kind of like, like that and then I'll let it go down. Now this thing is under a lot of pressure so be very, very careful. I'm going to use a pair of pliers because my fingers are just dead. Okay, and then I'm going to grab the butt plate. I'm going to push it down. That butt plate doesn't cooperate, of course.
get that in there. And okay, now it's the, the butt plate is kind of holding that little lip. So I'm going to go in with my fat punch. Sorry if you can't see it, you have to be directly over it. I'm just going to push that into place. And it is in. All right, we are good. All right, let's go ahead and assemble it. So now we'll go ahead and uh, do a safety or a function check. Go ahead and point it in the safe direction. And pull the trigger. That works. I'm going to keep the trigger pressed or compressed. And I'm going to rack the slide. We'll check our reset. It resets. We'll go ahead and, oh man, again. Sorry guys, I, uh, knocked the tripod off the table again. Okay, so we checked our reset, now we'll pull the trigger again, point it in the safe direction. It's good. We'll go ahead and reset. Pull the trigger. The gun shouldn't go off. You're not pressing the grip safety in. And then go ahead and press the grip safety in, but don't press the uh, but don't press the trigger safety in. We'll just go ahead and pull the trigger. Nothing happens. All right. We'll press both of them. Pull the trigger, click, reset, click. All right. Now let's check the travel of our firing pin. Let me see if I can find a good pin here. All right. Go ahead and put a pin in there, and we'll pull the trigger. There goes the pen. So we got a good trigger strike. I mean, uh, striker strike. Firing pin strike. All of the above. All right. That's it, guys. That would do it. Um, sorry about all the edit points. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't like it. Um, does greatly help. And uh, yeah, let me know. Let me know if you have any questions. All right, guys. See ya.